Hey, Cappy Seekers. Working with the Mythic Tarot today. Are you excited? Welcome to March. I got bit by a dog today. It's not as bad as it looks through the camera. It's, it's kind of surface level. He, he was uh, skittish and um, paranoid. He's a rescued, so I should have I should have noticed he was being a little bit like. <laughs> but I just really wanted to say hi. Did you really want to say hi to someone and then got bit, Cappy? That sucks. But it's okay. We live, we learn. Too many cards, too many cards. So my thumb a bit hurts. It's, I feel the shuffling, but very doable still. Okay. There we go. Page of Wands and the World. Uh, Jupiter. Where is Jupiter? What kind of um, angles does Jupiter make to your planets and to your chart? It's currently, Jupiter is currently transiting Taurus. And there's um, some adventurous experience <clears throat> that creates a real leap in your life. Maybe something that started as an adventure, but grew to something a lot more meaningful. Uh, maybe a short trip that grows into a move. Um, maybe you're just taking a class for the fun of it, for the heck of it, to pass time, and then you, you want to make it your profession. Um, maybe you're casually seeing someone, and then you guys just kind of fall in love. This could be a lighthearted friendship that suddenly you realize you're soulmates. It's like something that goes from... No biggie, not making too much of it to, oh my God, is this my life now? <laughs> or is this a big part of my life now? And it, it looks really good. It's, these are very positive cards. These are, there's expansion here. There's luck here. There's positivity. There's positivity, I'm sorry. Um, a lot of learning, learning about yourself, learning about the world. This could be new to you, foreign to you somehow. Or this could be a person that symbolizes all of these things right now. That you're surprisingly and excitingly really feeling connected with or connected to. Um, it's like you, you randomly meet a stranger and you go into a conversation and you realize this is someone who's going to be there, stay in your life for the rest of your life kind of thing. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Nine of Swords. Is that so? <clears throat> I like this. <laughs> the Nine of Swords has been like popping up in readings in like the most unrelated manners. And it's like, what? Are, it's almost like, what are you doing here? How did you even get here? It's almost like think good things are happening, right? And going for you. And then suddenly it sneaks up on you. Something very concerning or anxious or a worry. Um... It doesn't have to be reality-based, by the way. It could be something that, you know, when, when something really good happens, you start worrying that you're going to lose it or the things, or how things can go wrong. could be that. Some of you are finalizing a trip or a journey, a very long one or a cycle of some sort. And you know it's time, you know it's supposed to do, it's what it, it should be, it's how it should be, but it's still very hard and very painful. Um, and there's a level of grief, you know, for the ending, for the change. Eight of Pentacles. I don't know why I just heard embassy. So this could have some international flair to it because the page of wands in the world do have a lot with travel and international affairs. So some of you might be working at an embassy or you have to visit the embassy and you gotta 
um, maybe you're applying for a visa or paperwork or travel permits, passport, and um, there's a lot to go over, a lot of paperwork to gather. Do it. It's going to be a little bit annoying and uncomfortable, but you can do it and do it well. You know, cross your T's, dot the I's, uh, turn every stone. It's coming through. It's very important. You want you want to you want to be done with it in one time. You don't want to have to have them contact you and say, "Hey, this was partial. We need more documents. We need just." I'm not saying that if that happens, it's somehow bad, but something about it will, it will really benefit you if you're if you're very well prepared and you're a cappy. It's not going to be hard for you, but I don't know your other placements or what you're going through specifically right now. Maybe you think it's a slam dunk for whatever reason. Be very, very uh, um, precise. Applying to anything, even if it's not related to international affairs. Judgment and two of swords. Okay, um, you're 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 going to uh, be guided to deal with something that you have been trying to avoid for a while, or you were able to avoid for a while. Maybe it wasn't as urgent, maybe it wasn't as relevant, but it was there. And you were kind of like pushing it to the side, or I'll deal with it later. Um, no more dealing with it later. <laughs> it's going to face you this month, and it's a good thing because you'll get to um, really overcome something that has been just kind of in the back of your head for a, for a very long time with some of you. A stitch in time saves nine, and I'm picking up that you're going back to redo some stitches that weren't done properly. Knight of Wands just kind of flipped. This is someone. Um, yeah, no shit. <laughs> Hold on, let me... This. Someone is going to push you to deal with something, Capricorn. They're going to, like... You know... It's a good thing, and it's coming from a good place, but it's going to feel pushy and uncomfortable, and they're going to be, they're not going to let it go. <laughs> they're going to be very um, passionate about it, um, wanting to make sure, maybe they'll insist on going over your paperwork to make sure that you didn't miss anything, or maybe they'll remind you to do something, or maybe they'll be like, Hey, Cappy, did you do that? Did you go there? Hey, Cappy, come with me here so we can handle this thing that you wanted to handle. Um, they got your back. They really got your back. They're encouraging you and are fighting for you. So um, I do see you kind of putting up a little bit of resistance and being annoyed. But consider that it's really for your benefit and they're being either a good friend or a good partner or a good family member. They're being something good for you. So... You have an opportunity to relieve yourself of something annoying. Take it. Or not. I mean, <laughs> you do you, boo. I think some of you are really annoyed at your job. You don't like it. There are things that are just driving you crazy. And you thought will go away. You thought that person would just relax over time or that thing will kind of sort itself out. You realize it doesn't. And if you want it to go away or to be resolved, you're going to have to do it yourself or deal with it or address it. Uh, six of Pentacles. Um, the good news is, is that you're very supported by your environment. These are people who believe in your skill and your ability. Um, they want you to do well so they want you to feel well um it's just a matter of like bringing it forward and not being like oh i don't want to be the person that complains i don't want if this is something you've been handling for a while you've been dealing with for a while um if you don't deal with it this month i see it possibly getting worse so keep that in mind some of you are hoping for an investment or a loan or a grant, because you want to start something of your own. 
you're done. You're like, I don't want to be a hire anymore. I want to be my own boss. And you have some skill set, something unique that you can do that you want to do. And you just need a little capital, capita in the beginning. Queen of Cups. So you do seem to be able to get it. Uh, there is someone who can believe in you. This could be a banker that can give you a loan. This could be a grant, you know, someone who go over grants, who approves you. You just got to start the wheel. This could be a friend that will give you a loan, a partner that will be very supportive, um, a family member that believes in you and wants to maybe get a cut from whatever you're going to earn and maybe be a, like a little partner in it, but they come from a good place. It's, it's, it's not like they're trying to trick or get anything out. They're like, yeah, let's do it right. Instead of it being alone, instead of me giving you a gift, let's go into business together. Even if it's like on a small scale, they're like a silent partner or like a mild one. Um, they believe in you. So they want to be part of it. It's not, I don't see anything malicious or agenda based. It's just, it, it seems genuine. Um, Bottom of the deck, ten of wands. Yeah, this could be family. Some of you have a family-owned business in your family, and you haven't necessarily been a part of it. You've been working in other jobs. For diff whatever your reason was, maybe you wanted to make it your own way, maybe you wanted to distance yourself from the drama, but now it seems like a good idea. You feel like, maybe I should, you know, get into the business. Maybe it's something I can do. Maybe it's something I want to do. Like you, I see you giving it a, a chance possibly um, that you couldn't before because maybe the relationship with the family was a, a bit tense or you were worried it will lead to conflict, but maybe that's the conflict that is being resolved recently and you're kind of getting over it or through it. And then you can, you're free to like do that. Yeah. Without concern. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> The fool. Yeah, you're 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 guided to have a brand new start, a brand new start. It's adventurous, it's exciting, um, has a little bit of a risk factor, but not too scary, more so like just exciting. Um, and you're eager to explore this path, this career direction um, but you know having the world and the full card in, together in the same reading that's a major cycle ending and, and a major cycle beginning not just on a mundane level the mundane aspect will be the manifestation of something way greater which is your soul path that has really done a good job, done well, has resolved some, a lot, maybe a lot of karma, maybe a lot of lessons, and you're ready, right? You're ready to have some fun. Um, in, in, in some cases, now for most of you, but for some of you, this is tra transitioning from karma to dharma, from, um, from the wheel of karmic experiences and faded stuff to actual free choice. Uh, and that's a big leap. So it's just for a few of you. It can play out on smaller scales for all of you. But that's the theme. Some of you are coming back home after a long journey. That you've been traveling abroad, away, whatever. You've been studying. You've been working. You've been expanding. You've been... Oof, collecting experiences. Um, from here to the moon and back. And now there's a sense of a homecoming and like starting anew in a place that you come from. Like The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. Um, if you haven't read it, I do recommend all Paolo Coelho's books. They highly influenced me growing up. Um, it's a story about the alchemist who ventured outside of his home in search of a treasure just to buy the by the virtue of the venture and of the journey, he found out where the treasure has always been, that he would not have known if weren't for the journey. Um, so it's like you've learned to appreciate something and you had to 
be out there in order to appreciate it. This could be something that you used to do that was your dream job or the thing that you were passionate about and you kind of left behind for money or to explore, or to expand or to try different things. And now you're going back and you're realizing this is what I've always liked doing, what I've always loved doing and you're going back to it, right? This could be that you ventured outside of your um, culture or religion or belief system and have explored other beliefs and other cultures just to find that the one that fits you most and is what you most believe in cognitively and spiritually is the one that you started with. You know, it can, can play out in many ways. Um, yeah. Anything else about this for Kathy? Ten of Cups. This is gorgeous. Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. This is very happy home life and love and partnership and family. Uh, it's like an ex extreme abundance. This is like, it's like blinding um, with joy and abundance and connection and love and unity and community. And it's just really, really beautiful. It's like being with the love of your life um, and building a beautiful home together that will last for your great, great, great children. You know, it's, it's not an Ikea home. It's like a castle that you build and sit in, and remains for the generations to come. <laughs> and your big portrait hanging on the wall. Um, those of you who are artists, it could be very literal. Maybe you're creating a piece that someone wants to purchase. Or maybe someone commissions an artwork. And it, it finds itself in a very impressive place. Um, there's legacy here. There's um, the ocean has come through because of the Ten of Cups here. It's just popping up. Some of you are considering moving to live by the ocean or next to water. Uh, maybe returning to some place that you've lived that is on water. Um, for some, some of you, having these two different tens that are both family-oriented and love-oriented, this could mean that you're... And it's in combinations, in context with other cards, the world, the fool... Um, for some of you, you're leaving um, Chapter 8 and you're starting a new family, a Chapter B, with someone else. Um, the first chapter was legacy-based, childhood-based, origin-based. It was very beautiful and has it, its own love and power. And now the next one is more soul-based, more soulmate connection. Um, based. That's for some of you that this applies to and you'll probably know if that's the case. But if you've been wondering if 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 this applies to you, what I just said, it's gonna work out really well. Um, looks pretty beautiful. Okay, um, I want to clarify some of these stories to get a a, a clear um, a clear understanding of the details and how things unfold in March. So I will clarify, I will also rearrange for, for deeper layers and levels of the reading. Um, basically, I'll just pull more cards and create a sequel. Uh, it's right here, your sequel. You have your sequel, you have all others with sequels. It, it includes every everything, just fixing my ring. And if you have your uh, sequels, your, it also includes your karmic shift and liberation. Uh, and if you go for tarot masterclass, if you want to study tarot for me, it will include all of these um, um, exclusive um, videos. And here, if you want to talk to me personally, you can book a private reading right here. Stay magic, stay true. I love you, and I'll see you right now for those of you that are joining me on your sequel.